Welcome to The Know. My name is Gray, and Bill Nye, yes, the science guy, recently took part in a Reddit AMA and addressed everything from life on Mars, Jupiter's Europa, and his tiff with creationist Ken Ham. He joined two scientists on the social news site to answer questions that range from science, naturally, to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, because, yeah, you know, why not? Seriously, though, it's no question that Bill Nye is a leading advocate for science, experimentation, and innovation. So much so that he's lending his support to NASA to help persuade Congress to approve a $2 billion mission to explore Europa, Jupiter's moon, which holds more water than Earth. In a recent interview, he said, For the first time in history, we have the chance to send a spacecraft out there to see if something is swimming around in all that water. Adding, A mission to Europa would bring humankind together and perhaps change the world. During the Reddit AMA, he said the question he most wanted answered is whether there was or is life on other worlds, saying Mars may still harbor something alive today, and who knows what's in the Sea of Europa. One person suggested good old Nick Cage help unlock the mystery of Europa, to which Nye said, he's playing a character named Ben Gates. Gates, that is the guy you need, but I don't think he's available as he is fictional and all. Such a straight shooter that Bill Nye is. Meanwhile, when talking about living on Mars, he said, Mars is hard to land on and even harder to live on. I say if you want to live on Mars, try Antarctica for a few years. Oh, and to make it realistic, bring your own air. <laughs> Good one, but uh, yeah, seriously though, I hear it's really hard to breathe down there. And in the interest of science education, he says it needs to be funded, not cut back, because people get their lifelong passion of science before they're 10 years old. And that leads to discovery and innovation. And it's his sense of discovery and imagination that wants to, quote, get the world engaged in a system to deflect an asteroid and change the world, just like Armageddon. Now, the sad news is that he felt bad about his heated debate with creationist Ken Ham, saying he was happy it raised awareness about science and evolution, but he was disappointed it turned into such a spectacle and that it even had to happen. However, the good, nay, great news is that he did confirm he is working on a new science show, just he's sorting through several offers. And while he didn't give fashion advice on how to pick the best bow tie, which, FYI, he picks them out himself, he did give the best two pieces of advice he feels people should consider for living, saying, one, every person is responsible for his or her own actions, and two, work to leave the world better than you found it. Well said, science guy. Well, that's the news for now, but to keep up with all the biggest updates in video games, entertainment, and science, make sure that you click like and subscribe. We'll keep you in the know and beyond.